Oops. Oops, I, I didn't mean to do that. So he wants me to go out of my office, but what if I just like... But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. Let me out! To make a decision. Hello. All of his co-workers were gone. What? what could it mean? What? Stanley looked. This he guy couldn't just find a pencils. trace of his co-workers. Ha! Ah, number one, dad. Oh my gosh, I want, I want to be a dad. Oh please! Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Uh -huh. Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Five clicks is a lot. That's a lot of effort for me. Times. I would say that's the oh. kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Mm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Yes. yes, almost certainly. 50 clicks. What are you playing at, dude? Fine. One, two, three, four. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I start feeling it! To have meant Who even it are you? A true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some this hustle. This is very Stanley. valiant. I'm hustling. I want to see commitment. I'm committed. to go all the way, Arr. no matter what the cost. Hate this dude. Why don't you Already. go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Where even... I don't even know who this dude is. Great. I just hear a now, voice. Go click a few times on door 437. Four three? What I'm gonna do this first and then I'm gonna come back to that because that looks awesome. Four ooh. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now door four one five. Let's what? give it ten clicks or so. Bro, what's going on? Now back to door number four three seven. Oh, I wanna go in there to the new content. Is this the, All is right, that a copy back machine? to room 417. Oh, yes. I'm really <laughs> I know what a copy now. machine is, guys. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, guys. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, that's copyright. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. What? Oh. Uh. Uh, I'm trying. Ah. Yes. This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I'm I like doing that. it all, all right, line. Let's keep it up. Go Woo! give me a few clicks on door four one six. Yeah, let's do this. Woo! Woo! Uh, wait, is this one four one six? Uh, there isn't a four one six. Oh no! Oh, okay. <laughs> We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! But why does he sound like that? He's so excited! He's like literally into this. It's weird. And like, mmm. What, what kind of. Finish it off, Stanley! Finish it off! Five clicks on door four, three, hey guys, zero! Guys, this is, this is crazy, okay? One. Oh my god. Two, three. Oh my gosh. I. Uh, uh, four. Yes! We did it! What? Oh, wow. That's crazy. That felt amazing. That felt amazing, yeah. Oh, you mm. really earned it, okay. Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm Nothing very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement yeah, that wasn't was great. worth five little clicks. Really? Yeah, now. it wasn't really what worth it. What are you thinking? <laughs> what are you thinking? Wee! Oh, it's dark. Oh, where? What? Huh? Whoa. Whoa. The Stanley Parable this is cool. Ultra Deluxe features Cute. exciting new content, delighting audiences the world over. Oh my gosh, so great. Oh, oh well, this sounds delightful. I'm Shut very up. excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. No. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. I don't have it. Whoa, whoa. It's the jump circle. <gasps> I can't jump anywhere. We gotta, we gotta use these wisely. Like we only have twenty three left. Like, you know, yeah, I'm gonna just waste them all. I don't like that. It's gonna fall, isn't it? It's gonna fall. Oh, it didn't fall. Thank you for enjoying That's the it. Oh, you've got to be a kidding. chair. Is, 
It's my fault, Stanley. It I is. I built up too much anticipation it's around the new fault, content. Dude. I was it's trying to get no, back don't to reset what it. the Stanley Parable no. is really about. My chair. No frills. No gimmicks. I want frills. Just you and me having a great time together. You and, like mm, you and me. What? Uh... Come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. <laughs> do 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 do. Coffee nut. I don't want to know what's in there. Wee. Ow. Tuck you it away me. here, where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. What? I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all it's my so favorite pretty. memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. This really has break broken the fourth wall already. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. And I quote, <laughs> We're These so are so many long games candles. that aspire to be more than games end up like less water. than any form of art. Water. Stanley Parable Whoa. strives and then succeeds Stanley to be Parable. every game ever Whoa. created. I love Did you hear water. that, Stanley? No. Every game what? ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original okay. Stanley Parable was. It was literally oh, whoa, every game ever it's created. It was Skyrim. It was whoa. Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's oh. no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. Well, that it's sucks. just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Okay. I, I don't care. Being confronted People with play a games game, because 9 of out of 10. What don't you get do Stanley? Them. The your game, game is very good perfect. and letting them know they can It didn't can't need do anything else. Anything. It didn't need good. new content. Wait. Hang on. I don't recall Cold drink. This part of the memory zone before. Give me a dollar twenty-five, What's please, here? sir. Voice, give me money, please. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny with his humor and dialogue, <laughs> proving funny. To be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. For someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness Noodle gets annoying chef. fast. Preachy, Stanley. I'm not preachy, am I? You can um, tell me if I'm preachy, no. honestly, Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. Oh, I, okay. I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. I don't know what that means. You can't know how much fluff terse I cut from the game to get sweat. it to feel as wish there was a skip button. <laughs> me too! A no skip well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do blah, that. Blah, 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 <laughs> well there, Sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? Stanley! Stanley! St Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but Best slip sleep in my oh, life. Stanley, you're oh. back. You're back. Oh my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest okay. time. Okay. 
Hello? I don't but like this. didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human I condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? You, they demanded. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down. I just want to play the game. Come on, please, 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 please. <laughs> I just want to play the game. The end is never the end. Is never the end, 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 is never the end. Slowly the world is decaying. It's actually pretty fun. What? Oh, it's beautiful. The end is truly never the end. Because all life goes on. Oh, wait, what? No! Like that. What? Oh, it's. Uh oh. Oh, it's broken. Yo! seen past a few skips this is it oh no wait what take me back it, what i guess i'm back you know all right let's actually get to the real stuff here uh oh, new con new new content okay guys guys guys, guys. <laughs> i'm very intrigued should we keep going and do a couple runs of something else, or should we look at the new new content? I feel like we should ignore new new content for a while and go back to it later. He entered the door on his left. Okay, do we want to do we want to do it? He says, or do we not want to do it? He says. Because personally, if I woke up in a random office with it when there was a voice, and I didn't know what to do. I, I think at first I probably would listen to it until something like was off, like something was off putting and I'm like, Ugh, you know, cause there's no reason I shouldn't trust it. Right. Yeah. He's British too. So I'm <laughs> kidding. No, no, nothing against British people. Fine. We're going to disobey. This was not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Hey, stop putting ideas in my head. <gasps> Ooh! Ah, it's yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Yeah. Stanley simply stood Coffee, here, no. drinking it all in. <laughs> no. Yeah, I like this place. This is my new home. What is this? A let... See, the At this time doesn't point, move. Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Good. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Rude! Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Okay, no, I'm bored. <laughs> My ADHD can't handle it. <laughs> but at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Incredible. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I can't see my feet. I'm not feet. your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about me? nothing but you. Jump? All this Jump time. off like this? There's someone you've been Where? expecting, Stanley. Or, ooh, ooh. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? 
I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Yes. Are you that danger, well, danger everywhere? Let me prove Good. It. Let me prove that I'm on your side. No. Give me a chance. No. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. What's red? This looks pretty red. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. This is pretty rad. A pretty rad door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> Look at that. It's a pretty rad door. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You uh -huh. want to find out what lies at the end of uh -huh. this road you've chosen? Well, yeah. don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first Can place. Broken for you. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. Okay. And in the end, okay. it was all for nothing. Because <laughs> all for nothing. Oh, you're you such a dramatic Help queen. Here, Help Drama queen. These strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this to game we? better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Yeah. Skill trees? Yeah. Work with me. You've given me absolutely Puppy. nothing so far. Oh, a third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. You know, just because you want me to, I'm going to go to the one you wanted me before. I guess I don't get a choice. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Let me out! I bet I can make that jump. <laughs> Uh, overall, I'd say it's a four. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Yeah, Clearly there's something I really like here the game. That speaks to you. But this guy's insulting if I can be me. Honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This <laughs> whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train <laughs> rowing. I'm into here, it, right? Based on the data from your oh, I see. Through, I've... Oh, that is that me? Oh. You are objectively ranked last. How long does it take you to get to the door? Do not ask some friends for help. Friends list is empty. Oh, I have no friends. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Not really. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on. Oh, boy. Be a... In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. Gross. You click the button Leave to move go. back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why what? don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Uh, really? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. I honestly bet there. Oh no no no! I hate that noise. Mm -mm. You heartless bastard! Did you do it because you hate babies yes. or purely to spite me? That too. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing <laughs> that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. No! It's over. No! Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game just to ease the pain? Sure. Let's see. What do we have? Get me out of here. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. I hated the sound of that button. Like, I hated that. I cannot listen to that for four hours. What? Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? Is this? What is our What's this game called? This is... Hmm. 
Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians What's this below you from what up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for the some creep sort tower. of twisted erotic purpose. Yeah, hmm. space yes, puffs? that must be it. What's this what game a called, guys? Adventure into the experience of total mental depravity. So Firewatch. Far, I love yeah, everything I about this game, Stanley, it's and it game. seems there's even more. Come, let's Did you hear him? He likes this game. Did you play there. as a creep? That makes sense. Whoa, where even am oh, I? No. no, 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 it can't be. Nature. Flowers. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. No! Oh. Thank goodness, Stanley. Let me out! Point. I really wanted off into that, that thing. That, that thing. big open just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, <laughs> no path to follow. You can just go in any. Oh, oh, oh. thank heavens we are. Bro, what's going on with him? Out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay. What are those noises? Let's find another game. No. Preferably something with walls. Let me out. Something with nice, big, you dumb, and dumb. remarkable walls. I, mm -mm. <laughs> okay. What? I think yeah. this will be just the thing. What? See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you. Rocket League? There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game I design. will find a way to get lost. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. It's good. Lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, Give me a I'm car! There's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Sports Stanley, ball? I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run what the bases this? and do a touchdown together. Yes. I think surely we must. Surely we okay, must. Stanley, here's He's the so ball. Fancy. Have fun. I just got smushed. I got. He smushed me. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Are you winning, Is this son? Better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on. Yes. Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, Bonk. but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then raw surely pl multiple <laughs> balls makes for an even more like, euphoric sports weird. experience. I'm going to try oh, it I can, Here comes I can another run. ball. Two balls? Yes. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. This is I getting weird. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. I can tell. More balls. <laughs> he likes balls, apparently. Wait, Miss Stanley. Yeah, you I like balls. Fun. Is this yeah. a real video game? Mm -hmm. Well, I sure hope you're having a good time because guess what? It's over. That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. This is my game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I- Hold on, what are you doing? <laughs> you try to take the balls away from me, I'm taking the Stanley away from you! Stanley, don't do that, I can't follow you there, I can't help you. How would you L. write a story without me? You can't do it, you know that. Stanley, come back. Imagine. Where? Oh! Oops. Ouch. Oh, this is creepy. Bring me back, please. This is creepy. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Something better not drop drop because this is like horror game looking texture. Oh, this is creepy. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, this is something's gonna jump. It's phasmophobia. It kind of does look like that, huh? <laughs> oh, that's my number. Get the EMF reader for real. Click on click. Whoa, what is that? That's the outside. This is freaking creepy. Oh. I wonder what he found. If Your what mom. he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, I wonder if he's happy with in his choice. Mom. Sorry, no, and if we're he's done. learned the heavy cost that comes with it. Your mom. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up. He thinks he's in charge of me? Well, no. Actually, he's not. 
He's not in charge of me. Oh, great. All of this blah, blah, this blah, 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 blah. Stanley decided and to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had something to memo. Oh, the new contact. When Stanley came oh, to shoot, a set we, of two oh, open doors, well, he entered the door on his left. No. Nope. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Ha. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, no. just to admire it. It's a good room, though. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Being know. about nothing but you all this time. As it should. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stan. Oh, was I neglecting someone you? Someone you've forgotten about. Okay. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. But I like now, food. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Your mom? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Leave if you can truly alone. place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Well, hello. My office. What? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. Mom, it's his mom. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about it. your damn wall. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? They'd want to commit their life to you. What the heck, dude? I'm trying dude? to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Sorry, but you're in my story now. <laughs> you're so mean to me. Hello. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Casey, oh, the no. lady. He's coming oh. back to work. One might even feel Let sorry for him, go. except that he's chosen this life and make the cry. rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. You're trapped like me. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. What? And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. What? And Stanley pushed a button. This is disturbing. And I... Eh, whatever. <gasps> Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. There's nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. But I like it here. What? Sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At yeah, least huh? if there was something to interact I'm with, keeping he'd be justified in some way. And stuff. As it is, he's literally just standing Swe there sweeping. doing sweet F.A. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Standing around doing nothing? Yes. Why? Because I Please said so. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Stay confused. It is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Well, there has to be I significance. Never would have to mention it. Well, why'd you put it here then, huh? 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 Why'd you put it here? Huh? Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe yes, it does. When you go oh, talk I about see. This okay. With your friend, you'll say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending?" The broom closet ending was my favorite. Me too. I hope your friends find this concerning. Me too. I love the broom closet ending. It's my Stanley favorite. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really <gasps> stupid. He probably only got the job fat. because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. <gasps> that all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. That is wrong information. That is misleading well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now you're dead uh, and you collapsed on the keyboard no uh, well in a, it's indicative of the long-term sustainability of, nope. ah second player it's good to have you no it's board. still me I guarantee you can't do any you too unbelievable <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the control I to. am monkey a fish <laughs> <gasps> oh. 
Why would they do that? Business strategy? That's not funny. That's not a great... Uh, no? Yay. Where are we going? Up or down? Down. Or up? Does this literally go nowhere? Or? Was useless. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Whoa. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered Alcohol. in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? No, I'm not really thinking about What that, he no. could not have known okay. was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth oh, that his no. boss had been keeping from him. Okay. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret. I don't number. know it. Two, Whoa. eight, four, five. Two. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. What? Two, eight, four, five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on I'm a the genius. Keypad, Stanley has St <gasps> Do I have to fall down there? Oh. I thought it was a void. I thought it was a hole. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large Stop. door that read Mind Control Facility. But then there's escape! Guys, should we go Mind Control Facility or escape? Okay, we're gonna go this. Mind Control? Okay, yeah, let's go to Mind Control. We're gonna do what he says, and then we can always come back. Hi! Can you see me? Posing for the camera! Whoa! What is this? Can I jump? Oh. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human Never life, again. For he would dismantle the do? controls. See what this is about. System power. We're gonna turn it off. We're gonna break it. At last he found the source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Bonk. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How I don't care. Let me out, please. Let me what out. What mysteries did this strange building hold? Who but knows? as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power Trees. that he had been seeking, <gasps> but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand mountain a house no longer would anyone tell him where to go what to do or how to feel yeah whatever life he lives it will be his and that was all he needed to why do know. i have a feeling i'm not gonna be able it to was make it perhaps the only thing worth knowing stanley stepped through the open door stanley felt the cool oh. breeze upon his skin the feeling of liberation. Am I happy? The immense possibility Pre -candy of the and new van. <laughs> path before him. This was it really exactly is. It was right written now just like that. That things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Aww. But what about you, person who's speaking in my head? Are you happy? Achievement unlocked. Beat the game? I beat it? By doing what he told me to? Dang. Either of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish what you Escape yet next? Yeah, let's go in so that. much in this room. Please take your time. Okay. Do escape. Which does look like the white van with candy written on the side of it. Free candy. 
Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Bet? Bet, let's go? Second thoughts? Never heard of it. Whee! Oh. Ow. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, oh, he, he was lying. His life had been, perhaps his I'll death was a great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. Ew. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent I'm not accepting this. Let me out. Farewell, Stanley. No, let me out. No. Farewell, Stanley cried the narrator Woman? as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. What the? Let's just go with it. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley oh. would restart the game oh. back in his office oh. Oh. as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Yeah, why was he trying to kill me? What the heck? Oh, are you a rock? Yes, I am. I am a rock. <gasps> <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Stanley and narrator? Yeah. OTP. Bonk. Who's the woman? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? I mean, not no, really. Perhaps not. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes these things cannot be seen. I mean... <gasps> Wait a Listen minute! You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. Nah. There's no other way to I wanna be smashed. As long <laughs> as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop Don't take that up context. <laughs> only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Yay! Don't let time choose for you. Don't let Not a Either. single person. Feeling a wave of disbelief, <gasps> Stanley decided to go up to his you boss's bit. office. Let me in! My broom closet! That's my safe place. He locked away my safe. I am so upset. Alright, so we pressed off and we got freedom. So let's press on this time. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? I did. Oh, you kept you enslaved all these years. You go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you want? No, I don't. Control? Oh, pretty! Yes, I want control. Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls let it off. Go. And leave. No, Stanley. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Nice. The that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's oh, your time okay. to shine. You are the star. Okay. It's your story One, now. Shape it to your heart's two, desires. Two. Oh, this is okay. much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we oh. have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. Did but I get what it? Precious moments. I hope I got it. One of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all uh, this means. I don't I know. I hate the timer. Where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? Not really. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you oh, exactly really? what happened to them. I erased them. I erased them. I set you free. Speak English, please. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when mm -hmm. I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. 
Other times, I let the office sink into what? the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Oh, shoot. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the oh, control wait. wrested away from you to see it go. Rude! But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next oh, go around shoot. will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Uh -oh. But I'm enjoying uh -oh. this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock, why not? Oh, thanks. These are precious additional seconds. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. It didn't do anything. anything. Something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing I like the music. the cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made That's humble. Kinky. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That's this is cool fine. music, though. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look Hello, at the Fred. clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to stop. I want to press the button. 30 seconds. It's all the same to me. All Should I press it, guys? And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment oh, you fade in until the moment I say... It doesn't matter. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. I mean, he's not wrong, but rude. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive yeah. economy, Hopefully. why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. Exit. His boss would think he was crazy. Tonight. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe <gasps> I am It's a crazy. loop. All of my co-workers blinked I am crazy, yeah. out of existence I mean, in a no, single no, moment no, no. for no reason Did you see his stream title? None of Definitely it made not crazy. any what? sense. What is and going on, Carr? This, he began to make other strange observations. Office. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? I said that, why like, I said that, didn't I? I said that, like, a couple minutes ago. And for that matter, I said something these about rooms feet. were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Yeah, no, I already said that too. said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all, all a dream. A dream. Oh. He imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. I'm flying. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley oh, marveled pretty. that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so, so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't oh, no, asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. <laughs> this is I'm so creepy. about a voice describing me, thinking about This is like identity crisis right here. Thoughts. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I I'm wish it could be it. over. Let me go back Close to my eyes, job. Right? Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife Whoever and my job. Is. 
All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be, Everything fine. Will be fine. Manifest it. I am you okay. You are okay. Oh, we're still here. Oop. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, oh. just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. Uh. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> okay. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Huh? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. That was the picture. But on this we saw that. Day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed I... dead on the sidewalk. <laughs> and although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Obviously. Everyone knows what crazy people Yeah, everyone like. knows, everyone knows. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. Mm -hmm. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered <laughs> the meeting she had scheduled for that day the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension the rest of her life she had no time for this so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body and then she turned and ran i'm glad she had that i'm glad i could do that for her you know what let's go check out the new content oh good. real quick you noticed my sign yes i, I did, have something yeah. very exciting to show you <gasps> really for me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> New content part two is in. It is in. Old busted. New hotness. Oh, I see. New features. Whoa. Pretty cool. New content. This is crazy. Let me out. Let me out. What is going on? Ooh, a stool. I like the stool. Fuck it. Common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in Where, those who played it. Where's the well, bucket? I'm happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, anytime you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's I true. like buckets. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting <gasps> contradictions of the Stanley Parable Give will it feel to me. perfectly normal. And perhaps... I want it! Give you me the bucket! You may long for the gentle embrace of jarring it. cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? <gasps> yes, he said a bad the word. Is the perfect solution. Come on. I mean, he also try. called me a bastard, so. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already bucket, be sweeping Bucket! I have a bucket! And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Thank you. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Thanks. The bit can I keep- I get to keep the bucket! <laughs> I'm so happy! I am very happy. I Does anyone this. give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. It should. This is the best bucket. Can I? Oh. Oh! Which one was it? Get well someday. Happy 12th birthday, Stepneys. I like this one. Get well someday. 
You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. What? Happy 12th birthday, step niece it is. No! You dummy. <gasps> you know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable yeah. 2 as well. It's Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. Fuck you. Video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move Ew. the hell on with your unremarkable life. I don't like this. Please don't grab me. <gasps> Weird. I want to jump in the hole. Stanley, <gasps> here's an idea that I'm truly ah! fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This the is, hole! in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Yeah. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. You see, isn't it wonderful? Yeah. One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do I'm recommend so you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Okay. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. Ah. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. I you did. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar you and a must... cheat, and you're so clever. Look... I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What mm -hmm. normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? Me. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Yes, <sighs> probably. Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both I said think they could get more heated. Mean. Why don't we just put all this behind what? us and agree to just call the hole mostly? infinite sure dude. if that works for you then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on i'll just be up here when you're ready well you took my broom closet so this is my new comfort space are those cigarettes <gasps> what nah. no just kidding don't smoke well then i like this i like this a lot i like this yeah, but I'm bored. Great. So. Now, I'm very excited to... Oh, for heaven. <laughs> you see? I was right. The problem is you. Yeah. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Sort of what? Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole. I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose that's again, not infinite. To do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing with Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect oh, that shit, I'm starting Sherlock. to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep. 
even by the lax <laughs> overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? What's going Stanley, on here? I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Kinky. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's bare. How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, like but at it. this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? I like my own. You just do whatever it's it is nice. you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. I like it. I got my hole and my bucket. My hole and my bucket. It's my hole and my bucket. It's mine. Hmm. Is the, um, teleport button not working? Uh, you sure? Yeah. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Uh, Try it again. It's not working. Still nothing. Well, I suppose, I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. What? You couldn't bear to be away from the hole. No! And now you'll get more Please. time with it than you could ever have asked for. No. It's a win for everyone. <laughs> You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. No, I'll, 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 Take care, Stanley. <laughs> I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest. Of no. Oh, guys. Oh. <laughs> Look what we did! See us, sugar. <laughs> Love this. Look at this. We're brilliant. This might take a while, though. <laughs> it's me in my bucket. Me in my bucket in this infinite oh. To change your perspective. Oh my gosh, it's me! Whoa! Where's my ears? They're cut. <laughs> Dang. Dang! That's some fine looking man right there. A man in his bucket. That one. I like that one. The chaos, I love it. Stanley. Oh good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. I so how you. about if I just pop in from time to time no. and wake you up to keep you really Leave truly focused out. on the hole? From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking Thank forward you. to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. That was cute, actually. Oh, yes. Give it to me. Uh -huh. Sad net. What? 
Yeah, I, I am sad now. I can't believe you took it away from us. Can I? Oh. I kind of want to go back to the hole. Here we are. Do players really want? <laughs> And of big. course, the first and most obvious Just answer right. uh -huh. is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Am I gonna- am, is my name gonna be leaked? <laughs> is like my actual name gonna be leaked? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. Imagine if course, your name was Jim. That would be so this freaky. This button will say your name, whatever name that is. Ugh. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really I simulate wanna role the full you. experience of this I'm feature. not role playing with Just you as Jim. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a Weird deep fantasy. breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Okay. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities Jim? as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into <laughs> dust. Thank you. Do you feel it deeply? Are you with Jim? Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. If you don't properly roleplay as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody Jim! else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. Jim. All right, fine, whatever. It's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get out of here. I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I worked very hard on? Oh, no, okay. See, if you'd only played along, that would have been your name, the button says. But no. Instead, oh... I can't even think about it. I'm taking the gym button away. No! Jim. No! Jim. Come on! Jim! Dude, this game speaks to me on so many levels. I love it. Like, the absolute chaos and, like, pain I caused the, the voice is, like, my whole personality. Like, I would be that person. He would just like full on like make him despair everything. <laughs> so, oh, another hole. What do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I, I know mean, it's not exactly uh -huh. clear yet how exactly these features will come together Wee. as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, okay. let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Sure. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Whoa! Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay. I love it! Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. I love it! Okay, no, we. Yes. yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> yeah. Who am I kidding, Stan? There's two holes! This isn't a coherent video the game at all. It's a, a lot hole. of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating but gags, yeah. but they don't add up to Ew. anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I want the <gasps> fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They mm. would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Sure, dude. Wait, sure. <laughs> maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. But that's just With like... respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But that's but exactly what you really didn't want to do. That's literally what they screen. did in Deluxe. A title screen that says that doesn't make it a, a new game. Compromising conviction. This You're is a hypocrite. A You're a hypocrite. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Ugh, this dude. Take a look. <gasps> Whoa. Bucket. <gasps> Stanley picked up the bucket. 
The broom closet. The broom closet. The broom closet. What was here? Room Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. No! You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It. it belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. We can become Polly. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This we're is your poly. companion we're, we're and lifelong friend. Relationship, me, Can't the bucket, and the broom closet. No. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never what? liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had You're imagined. just jealous wait, of our love. Now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends, that your relationship is purely superficial and convenient, that, that your life true? is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. This is Go deep. through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed. Can't and me and the broom closet the and the bucket just have a poly relationship? <laughs> and the narrator, if he's willing. Same. If I'm gonna be stuck here for eternity, I might as well, okay. you know. I got you something which I think will help settle this debate ah. once and for all. Here we go. There. What? Now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. <laughs> yeah. Take a hike, broom closet. Yeah. All your meandering philosophical diatribes I'm about the nature of cleaning supplies <laughs> and their relationship to broom I'm closets in the in natural here. order of things. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. Bucket. I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. Yeah! That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down oh at the gosh, sticker and see yourself. she knows me so well. Oh, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications oh for this gosh. sticker. I'm so happy. Makes me happy. You know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us the silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside Bye. and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. <laughs> Aww. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? <laughs> Funny. Once Stanley had he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Should I like two best press friends, on or off? Stanley and the bucket, up against the world? They high-fived in a really cool way, <laughs> and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. The last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to the turn bucket? on the controls. Stanley bucket, gasped no! in horror. Bucket. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Oh! Birds. Silly birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. <gasps> Birds! Uh, I like that one. <gasps> Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. 
It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over Whoa. the world. The mind silly. controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Am I a silly Stanley bird? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands. The one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, living through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one Babies. was surely the best. Babies. And Stanley was happy. I am happy. I am happy. I'm very happy. That was a good ending.